Yesterday I got a package. Yay! So far did the buy $75 worth of products get $25 off if you're VIP and I partook. I got a couple of things that I'll talk about later, but this was the thing that I was really, really excited about. When I saw this online, I thought, this is my wheelhouse. Let's talk for a minute. Packaging doesn't matter, <laughs> but this packaging is insanely compelling. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. They do some really nice packaging, but the inside is what matters. And the inside is, it, it's my happy place. This is my wheelhouse. I went to the Sephora closest to me that had this in stock because it looked very familiar to me. When something strikes me as, this is my wheelhouse, I stop myself and think, do I already have it? Because, you know, if there's something that you really like, chances are you've already bought it. And it looks so familiar. This is the Extra Spicy Too Faced. And I went to the Sephora and I did some swatching between these two and found some similarities that are notable. I'm going to do some swatches at the end because I'm an impatient little girl and I want to get this stuff on my lids. Get my big mirror and move you in closer. I'll put the names below because I am blind and I don't want to put my glasses on between each shade, but this shade here. And I have some concealer. I had not powdered it because I planned on using this all over the lid. I am using my 13X mirror so I can really see how it's working with the crepey portion of today's video. Oh, and I got a little hair here. All over the lid. And this color is I think of it as, you know, you could call it peach. I kind of, to me, it's a little bit cantaloupe. It's a little bit different than other peaches that I have. Which, which, as you know, with, you know, foundation, for instance, just the teeniest difference can make the biggest change for the better or the worse. Same thing for eyeshadows. And I'm just feeling around the eyeball here and then looking open in the eyes and pulling it up a little bit so that when my eyes are open you can see it. But these appear to be pretty even. These don't feel like the two face powders. These two face powders are really under loved. They go on so incredibly smoothly that they don't really need blending out. I really like the formulation of the two face palettes. Um, now, with my finger, this shade. There are four shades in this palette, and we'll talk about them during the swatching. But, and they don't name what these shades are in formulation, but they're more of a sparkle, a top coat then they are a glitter or a metallic and it's my ideal. I'm not huge on metallic and I'm not huge on glitter but the sparkly I'm about. I'm going to take the same brush that I did that cantaloupe color with and go into the lighter brown and receive my hood a little bit. So first I'm just placing the color where I want to see it. And if there's a little bit of that cantaloupe still on the brush, it's fine, even though I, I wiped the brush off. And pulling out a little bit to the side. And then look from over here, it's taking shape. Then I'm going to look in my 8x mirror because I'm a big believer in forests from the trees. Sometimes close up things look normal, especially when you're doing your eyebrows. And then when you look in a different mirror, you're like, ooh, too much or too little. Usually it's too much. 
I'm going to take this brush that's very dense and pretty small but not super super thin and this dark brown color and just do a little bit of lining. Nothing heavy. And I'm just lightly, lightly, lightly buffing it in. Because I do want it to be pretty imperceivable. There. This is look one. And even though most of us can say, I have a million palettes with this peachy kind of color in, and you very well may because it's a popular colorway, this one is different somehow. It's just a little bit different. I'm not saying it's shaking the earth, but this shade here, it does kind of shake the earth. And it's not sunny today. I'm working in a cloudy situation, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you how this is different, but it's just a sparkly formula instead of a metallic one. If I wanted to, I could just stop right here. I could do a little bit of lining, tight lining, and a little bit of mascara, and my brows, the blush, the whole thing, and I would be done. But I want to show you another look, I think, without taking this off. Look number two. I'm going to go in with this pink color with a bigger brush, but this brush is not incredibly dense. So we'll see how that will work. And feeling my orbital bone. And then the outer third. And then pull out to the side. I'm just putting the brush on this on its side so it's really getting a haze and it might help me not have to blend too much. One color, big, big change, right? I think you could kind of blend that out and leave it at that, but I'm going to do the other eye first and then we'll decide. I feel like I'm really getting close to it, but I want to blend out a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with this color and more of a fluffy, dense brush. And now I'm going to take the shade I think is what makes this palette worth it. It's called Push It, and it is this shade right here. And it has both gold and pink, and it's that special formula that is unnamed, that sparkly formula. So, so, so pretty. You probably can't see it as well as it deserves to be seen. That first shimmer was absolutely kind of in the copper zone. And now we've gotten it to like a goldy, rose gold tone in a very subtle, subtle fashion. Look at that. Just when I do this, it's like, oh, all those colors just melding into each other. So pretty, pretty on the lid but when your eyes are open, it's pretty too. I really love it. I'm going to finish up and I will be right back and we'll do some swatches. All right, so apparently I fat fingered it and I got some color under here. So I just took my a powder brush and kind of swept around. So there's probably a little bit of haze. And I do believe that my concealer is a little too dark for my foundation, but I'm testing it and I don't have it in another color. So we're going to leave that alone. We're going to pull out a little bit and start doing some swatches. So right off the bat, the pinks and the peaches are calling me and I'm thinking there's a lot of similarities. This one, 
this one, this one, and this one. So the top in both are the NARS, and as you can see, they are lighter. Um, these are darker in tone, but the same tone, and they're beautiful swatches too. Now in the NARS palette, those two colors are really, if you think about it, they're the star of the show. Because what do you have here? Browns, browns, and this vibrant pop of color, and then a bunch of shimmers. So these two are going to be your transition shades, or your lid shades, depending on how you roll. I really love the idea that they've given us a warm option and a cool option for transitions. I wish every single palette ever made had the choice between warm and cool so you can take your palettes two different directions. So I started with a warm direction and then I went cool, but if I decided to start cool, this would be my all over, this would be my transition, and then I would go in with this. If I decided to do warm, what I just did, which is this, and then I used this up here, just a couple of different directions you can go with this palette, and it deserves an A++ for doing that for us. This has two matte browns, this one, and this one. Again, these swatch beautifully, and they both are cool browns. They both have reddish undertones. The browns here, here, and here. So the top is Too Faced, the lower one is NARS, Too Faced, NARS. There are differences for sure, but they're not incredibly different, and to me these NARS also look like they are cool tone browns. There are two satin shades in here, this one and this one. Now this one is, looks quite peachy in real life, and this is, I don't know if you call it fuchsia or magenta. I don't actually know if there's a difference between fuchsia and magenta. Might be two words saying the same thing. In the pan, this one, and this one look to, looks to be the closest match. But you know sometimes what something looks like in the pan and what it looks like swashed are two different things but this looks like it might have a peachier undertone. So the top is Too Faced NARS, Too Faced NARS. So this color is not as fuchsia. It's a deeper, warmer pink that actually has some brown in it. And this is of the peach nature, but it is much lighter. To me, it is this. This, this, this. These formulations, well this one is definitely sparkle, and these are variations of sparkle, and they are the star of this palette. Let's watch them. There is, it's impossible to show you the beauty of these because of the nature of them. They look, from my mirror here, they look like just metallics, but they're not. They're more of that sparkle. So I'm just going to kind of move it around a little bit. You know what, there is another satin in here. I didn't realize it was a satin. This one right here, that is so pretty. That's really pretty. Whoa. So that's a brown with a copper undertone. In the Too Faced palette, this would be the closest. So the Too Faced is the lighter color. So when the light hits this one, it looks closer to this one, but when the light doesn't hit it, this looks much, much, much darker. So there's some similarities. There's a lot of similarities between these two palettes. It's just that this one does not have that very special sparkle. And for me, just for my lids and for my aesthetic, I really like that sparkle. It's just not metallic. It's not glitter but it's so special and so pretty. And I feel like, even though there's a lot of shine on my lids, for me, I feel like I could go out grocery shopping with this. I do, I feel very comfortable in this, but I also feel like I could deepen this up, maybe put the pink on the entire lid and take it out for New Year's Eve or for Christmas or for a special dinner. Um, yeah. The question now is, am I going to keep this palette since I already have this palette? I think I am. I think 
I know the differences look very slight on most of the swatches that I showed you, but sometimes the slightest difference in color makes a really big difference when it's applied. Um, and I love those shimmer shades. And this, this pink, this fuchsia, is very, very different than this pink. I think they could complement each other very well, absolutely. I think this one, much more for day than this one. So, you know, here's a way to look at it. If this is your wheelhouse, you have to have a day version and a night version. And this has been on sale a couple of times on Sephora at, for $29. And the last time when I went into store, maybe five days ago, it was on sale for $29. So if you can get that one for $29 and then get this one, it seems that I'm here to encourage you to spend your money by giving you excuses to have two palettes that are very similar. You're welcome. Let's pull out. I'm back. I cleaned off my lids and I put some concealer on to cover the redness because I wanted to show you what I did in the store when I first saw this palette. I just used my fingers because that's what your choices are in store. I started with the peach. Boom. Let me pull you in. All right. See how pigmented that is? First, now the magenta with my finger. Kind of outer third. And then the top of the eyeball, whatever's left. Again, harder to do on this side. Build that purple up a little bit, that fuchsia. And hitting the orbital bone. I'm totally getting it all over my face. So this will require some cleanup. I'm even blending it with my finger. Now I'm going to take that beautiful, beautiful shade push up right here. Same feeling as the first look that I did, but different application, and it's a little sloppy, a little actually more casual, and a little more fun. I do want to hit it with a blender, just, I just for shits, this is not something I did in the store, but since I have so much product that's fallen under here, why not put a little here on purpose? All right, so I cleaned up with a little bit of concealer where I fat fingered on both sides and tried to make it a little more even underneath the eye. But generally, this is just a finger application, a hazy kind of boho-y look, which I'm all about. And I like it as much or better than the look that took me longer that I used with three different brushes, honestly. I just think it's so, so pretty. Um, just FYI, I am testing a new concealer, so I didn't lighten it up with something else, but I do think that it is a little too dark for my skin tone. When I tried it in the store, it was fine. So I will, uh, well, you'll hear about that one on another video. Now let's go to the outro. All right, these two palettes, yes, they are very similar. But if you're like me and you feel like there's so many palettes that don't work for you and you find one that does work for you when you're trying to reason it out in your head, here's, here's a way to look at it. This is for day looks and this is for night looks. There are colors in here that are very, very similar, but the differences are significant when they're applied. 
So the um, darker pinks are similar, but not similar enough to say, well, I can't get this one because this fuchsia is very, very special. And the sparkles are very, very special. And I don't know, for me, I'll just tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it. I really like it. So, so what? I have two palettes I really like. Not the end of the world. The next one that comes out that hits me in the same way, I won't get. And if I change my mind, I will let you know at a later date. And if you want to see me do one more look, let me know. That's going to wrap it up for me. The new NARS Afterglow kind of versus the Gingerbread Extra Spicy, but not really versus. I just wanted to show you how they compare to each other. The comparison is real, but I do feel that this one is special enough to have, and I'm going to keep it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you come back again. This is hooded friendly, works for me, really like the colors. The powders are working, not too creamy, not too powdery, just the Goldilocks of powders, just right, and keeping the rest of the face pretty fresh. And that's it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon, and if not, have a really lovely holiday.